Hey there people, it's Fresh Mark Sense, another fresh review, aka Zest for Life Fragrances. Today I'll be showing you guys my most sensual fragrances. These are for the gentleman who has a little bit of class about them. And these fragrances are soft in a slight way with notes like rose and maybe ambre, just to give a sort of powdery uh, romantic finish. And they will be showing facets of... Uh, the cool, fresh and calm collected person, the person who's great in a suit, the gentleman who is a little bit sweet and charming maybe, the, um, the gentleman who's quite serious and uh, something quite opulent and rich at the same time. So I gave a little bit away with the uh, introduction but here we go with the fragrances in no particular order. Let's start with Versace Eros Parfum. Now this really inspired the whole uh, idea of this uh, collection of gentlemanly romantic scents uh, with the note of May Rose in here. This opens up with the same mint that Versace Eros is famed for, the Eau de Toilette. However, it's toned down slightly and it's sweetened in a natural way with Elmi. It still retains the ambroxin in the base and the geranium in the mid to keep it fresh. However, the note of May Rose uh, it adds a powdery soft sweetness that makes this a little bit more romantic than the uh, Eau de Toilette, which is very fresh. And as contrasted, I'd say it's a little bit harsher. Nonetheless, the Eau de Toilette is a fantastic fragrance for a burst of freshness in summer and I think this is great in winter. Although it draws closer to the skin, the notes are more present in the cool fresh air, so it's a cool weather scent. And it lasts about uh, 5 hours longevity on the skin and projection about 3 hours on jackets and the like. Next one, ooh, almost revealed that too early, Dior Homme Intense. This is something I can't live without and I've featured in many collections and videos just because it's a classic, well I'd say modern classic men's fragrance because classic would be fougere and the like and this is a sweet ambrette cacao and a waxy iris and bergamot fragrance so this is very clean, sweet, fresh. I wouldn't characterize this as soapy, I would say it's I would say it's heavy on the um, ambrette, which is mask mallow. It's almost like a marshmallow fragrance. It is formal, clean, slightly uh, milky with the sandalwood and fresh with cedarwood too. So this is great with a suit and the gentleman who's great with a suit and likes to dress up on, well, frequently, let's say. And now let's go to the sweet man with Givenchy Pie. This is slightly playful and gourmand with caramel facets, but it also opens up with natural fresh notes or green notes. It's a general note and orange blossom in the heart of this. So you get a very um, honeyed like caramel spring fresh feeling with this. It's very uh, sweet yet not overpoweringly so. It does have tonka bean, it opens with the round note of mandarin orange and tarragon to give a sweet green natural freshness. However, I believe this is great for uh, summer and the nighttime facets of it, it will be great for nighttime because uh, it's a very soft and not overpowering scent, yet it has a unique ambery sweetness about it. So that's why I love Givenchy Pie, sorry. And I think it's good for autumn as well, but it would be a light projector. The projection on this is about um, seven hours on the skin. However, in the autumn, it will probably be reduced to about five. Next is for the... Um, oh, I just popped this right off. Oh, there you go. And the next one is for the traditional gentleman, somebody who likes to dress uh, smart, casual and the like. This is a very um, soft, powdery uh, rose scent, but it opens with the green freshness of cardamom in such a way that it's bookended with vetiver in the end to give 
a green, fresh, uh, spicy, rich, and smooth scent with sandalwood and the uh, May Rose in the middle of this fragrance. Actually, it's Bulgarian Rose, sorry, and May Rose. So it's got two rose notes, and they are creating a powdery, sweet, green, fresh, and slightly natural, airy perfume. That is great for the daytime if you're going to go out for coffee or something in a nice tweed jacket and a shirt and chinos. This is sort of smart, casual, definitely for you, the traditional gentleman. Next one is somebody who likes to show the richness in the way that they dress. Somebody who maybe, you know, likes to wear cashmere a lot and uh, likes to play around with the fabrics to show that they have some style in their layering and the like, and maybe would have some richness in the layering of their fragrances or scarf. If you are somebody who likes to spray something rich on your scarf and maybe waft through the atmosphere and really project yourself with something uh, rich and luxurious, uh, Sergei Luton's um, Cheruguay is the fragrance for you. Definitely check this one out because this has notes of honey, um, hay, ro may rose, honey, hay, may rose, tobacco leaf, which gives it its beautiful spicy richness, and uh, finally some sandalwood. So this is very spicy. Let me just make sure because I'm almost going nose blind here. Yes, this is very spicy, rich and honeyed in the beginning with tobacco leaf giving almost a saffron feel. Very rich and decadent. This is for the person who really likes to project themselves on a fragrance. This is a nighttime fragrance, a daytime fragrance. And well, really it's fantastic for autumn and winter. So for the cool, fresh gentleman, calm and collected, May rose, geranium and mint opening up to a very fresh scent. For the gentleman who looks great in a suit and dresses very formally, Dior Homme Intense. The slightly sweet and playful, cheery, comforting gentleman is Givenchy Pie. The traditional gentleman would wear Barbour for men, EDP for something slightly natural, green, and reminiscent of the fougere, but a little bit modern at the same time. And then the extravagant gentleman, let's say, would wear Sergei Luton's Cheruguay for its rich tobacco note, the honey, and the may rose and hay with sandalwood to give something spicy that projects and something comforting and warm, yet rich and resinous up close to give an aura of richness and wealth with your fragrance. Why not actually, if you have some wealth, show it in the dress of your clothes and dress in a clean, fresh way. Of course, have a shower and stay fresh. Whatever you do, stay free and stay fresh.